Welcome back. AFSC, Agricultural Financial Services Corporation, is well known to producers in the province. James Benke from AFSC had a chance to sit down with Neil to review a situation and came back with some key recommendations. Let's join James now that are trying to get established and also growing farming operations and uh, you know and, and in that there's a number of, of great uh, incentives and, and uh, features that actually fit very well with Neil's situation. Um, the first part uh, with the Alberta Farm Loan Program that AFSC delivers um, we will look at 20-year amortization rates and involved in that 20-year amortization rate uh, AFSC also provides a feature that, that producers can lock in that interest rate for the entirety of that loan. Um, so not only does that provide, uh, you know, Neil with, you know, AFSC uh, has been, uh, you know, in, uh, from the agricultural industry side of things, been in business for a long time. It's a crown corporation, um, you know, via the government of Alberta. And, and all wrapped up in, in uh, AFSC is, is an incredible amount of knowledge, particularly in the risk management side of things. And, and that really helps with our programming um, across the enterprise and across the province. Uh, AFSE uh, provides a lot of support in areas where you know some of the private uh, private businesses won't uh, do business, but that also comes with uh, you know with the support from the government of Alberta as well as the the federal government. Um, you know the majority of our programs are are ha have an incredible benefit uh, from the government of Alberta and the federal government, and and you know, we have a lot of agreements in place to support that risk management side of of, uh, of agriculture. Uh, because everybody really truly knows that it's an incredibly uh, risky, uh, volatile industry to be involved in from a business perspective. So, uh, listening to Neil, he's got a number of uh, of uh, concerns that he needs to address, and and some of those uh, concerns can be addressed through through some of our risk uh, management programs here at AFSC. And and one of those programs that we deliver is crop insurance. Um, the crop insurance program to get information and that type of stuff, you can go to www.afsc.ca. That gives a great rundown of our mis uh, risk management programs. And also just coming into a district office, we've got approximately 54 across the province uh, to come in. Uh, for Neil, uh, you know, I recommend coming in to sit down. Uh, you know, then at least that, that way we can start to establish a relationship with him in, in the district offices to sit down with one of our analysts um, to, to actually understand what Neil's concerns are, what the issues are on his farm and, uh, and, and, and really dive into that and, and look to see how that program can benefit him from a risk management perspective. Uh, Neil, uh, looking at the crop side of things, our crop management or our crop uh, insurance program essentially provides a yield guarantee to our producers which provides them, you know, talking about the risk management piece, it provides them with the stability over time. You know, if they are in a catastrophic situation, at least there's that backstop there uh, to support that. Producers can manage uh, through decision making at that point uh, based on different coverage levels uh, if they're looking to, you know, manage some cash flow, that type of thing. Um, so they can really actually look and, and tailor their, their solution for their farm based on 60, 70, uh, and 80, 50, 60, 70, and 80 percent uh, coverage levels on the crop insurance side of things, and and we we insure uh, everything from wheat and barley uh, to oats, canola, uh, and, and and a number of other crops, and, and uh, a number of risk areas across Alberta. Um, Neil also uh, commented that he you know he's probably going to be looking at some hay, alfalfa, those types of pro uh, crops, and AFSC also delivers a, a hay insurance program. Uh, it's in inside of our perennial program and, and hay works a lot of the same way. It's based on a production guarantee per acre. Uh, there's no quality uh, insurance in that, but it's, it's a production guarantee, um, you know, that uh, is it just like the crop program. It's a multi peril insurance uh, product that, you know, covers everything from frost, flooding, insects, um, hail, those type of uh, uh, perils in, in the province of Alberta. Um, so it's definitely uh, paired with a crop program can definitely support backstop uh, in a catastrophic event for a producer who's really trying to get started like Neil, um, you know, and, and also uh, from a bank perspective, the financing, um, you know, they, they also encourage strongly from a risk management that, that uh, a producer has that type of support. So, good. The other major uh, component of, of Neil's situation is, is that he's actually got an incredible passion for the cow-calf side of the business. Um, and, and AFSE offers a cattle price insurance program. Uh, what that program, it's actually quite 
quite new. It's under five years old and it's actually an Alberta driven uh, risk management program, risk mitigation uh, system. And uh, what it actually provides to um, Alberta producers is, uh, is a market risk protection. Uh, and, and involved in that is it's actually a pricing um, um, risk tool that Alberta um, cow-calf, Alberta feeder, Alberta fed cattle producers uh, can use to, to manage price risk. Uh, the Alberta price uh, that we use in the program is, is based on uh, currency, it's based on price, and it's based on basis actually, um, which is in important because that's the three uh, major components to, to a lot of producers in Alberta and their price risk uh, challenges. Um, in that program, you know, we, we've seen uh, obviously the, the BSE uh, scenario a number of years ago. Um, what this program essentially does is it actually, again, provides a backstop for producers. Producers can use it at, at a number of different levels based on their thresholds and based on their cash flow and based on their, their management process. Uh, we've got a number of producers in Alberta that actually use it as a, a purely as a catastrophic event. Um, you know, and when you use it as a, as a, a catastrophic, uh, in that um, aspect, uh, it's actually relatively inexpensive. So from Neil's perspective, cash flow, flow is an issue. He can take a, a real catastrophic type price uh, tool and uh, it can be relatively inexpensive, but also provide that backstop in the event that, uh, um, that he is experiencing pr some price challenges in that. Um, the C uh, cattle price insurance program also includes fed cattle. It includes feeder cattle. And uh, essentially what producers do uh, is, is uh, market uh, and, and insure against a, a live hundred weight. And, uh, and through that program, uh, we've had a lot of uptake recently because the prices uh, have, have actually increased. And, and based on the fact that AFSC uses that Alberta-based price, it makes it extremely attractive to, to a number of, of Alberta cattle producers. Um, the program is really, uh, you know, really on, on the, the important side of, of a lot of cattle producers' programs now, um, now that they've seen the benefit uh, to, to having that type of uh, price risk insurance program as part of their, their uh, operation. Let's wrap up the key points from AFSC. Consider the beginning farmer's loan program reduces financial risk exposure. Crop and forage insurance help, risk, help reduce the risk of crop failure and livestock insurance is a risk reduction strategy to reduce the loss from disease and injury. AFSC is clearly dedicated to giving young producers a good start by ensuring that they have the ability to withstand uncertainty and mitigate risk through insurance. When we come back, we'll get an assessment of current risk in the cattle business from Canfax.